Sopranos is what also my best friend watched while she was in um, giving birth. In oh, there, but randomly, she's what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> to be honest, it's very right. distracting. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did you name the baby after any Carmella. No, yeah. <laughs> And welcome to the Shilux Team Podcast with me, Heather Steele. Today, I'm joined by Georgina Blasky, Lou Huff, and Nana Achiampong. Welcome, Nana. Hello. To your first podcast. It is. This is so exciting. <laughs> it's very cold, but exciting. I know, but I'm you've like, got like the perfect uh, coat know, on to help. It's basically a sheep that I'm wearing. <laughs> no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's where's it from? In. Because people yeah. people will be asking. Um, this is H and M Conscious Collection from last mm, year. Nice. Um, oh. Or Studio, one of their collections. One of but them. yeah. Oh, um, so lots of you watching and listening will know Nana from the Sheer Luck Show because you've been on quite a few times over the last couple of years. But yeah, excitingly, Nana joined the team full time at Sheer Lux as fashion broadcaster and editor two weeks ago, was it? Yeah, beginning of January. Well, first, second week of January. Week of yeah, Jan. I was away for the first week. Um, <laughs> but yeah, second week of Jan. Started with you guys, and yeah, just having an amazing time. I'm absolutely loving, loving it. Loving all the TikToks as much as we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but, I've got this like new fan base on TikTok. I'm uh, like, oh, everyone's just been really kind and really sweet, and yeah, it's just been such a positive energy. We're very lucky, actually. We've got such nice readers and viewers and listeners who yeah. like lots of lovely comments. Yeah. Um, but Nana, mm-hmm. just thought we'd ask you, in case people don't know about you or yes. you know, just want to know more. Yeah. Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself and your career pre Shilux. Shilux, so I am a fashion and celebrity stylist. Um, I've been working in the industry, I worked out for about 18 years, so I was like, oh my God, I feel really old. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, a really long time. And during that time, I've worked for different publications, with different celebrities, styling, red carpet, music videos, um, but most recently, at the job that I left to join Sheerlux, I was the celebrity style editor at Fabulous Magazine for 10 years, where I styled all of the front covers. That's that so was cool. always a celebrity. Um, Who's the best celebrity style? I know, everyone always asks me this question, and I'm <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. The funnest... <laughs> Like, she was crazy, uh, like, Lindsay Lohan. Oh, nice. Like, in Mean Girls era. Like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this story, but whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, you're allowed, sure. <laughs> um, Exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but she turned up, like, four hours late for the shoe. It was, like, really chaotic. But I was just like, oh, my God, I love it. Like, I was actually assisting on that shoe that day. Um, Wait, so and this is in Mean Girls era? Yeah, this yeah, is Mean nice. Girls era. And we were just like sat there in this hotel room <laughs> her, just, waiting. just waiting photographer <laughs> hair makeup everyone all just waiting and then she came in and she was like the Tasmanian devil just <laughs> really? like, yeah but I loved it because I was like oh my gosh I was like this is just amazing and I was like all yeah. celebrities are like this yeah, you <laughs> want a bit deeper <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> also you often hear don't you that people have arrived like super duper late so at least she arrived late but it was like fun and yeah, good and oh not just gosh, like it, they're not really wanting yeah, to be yeah, there yeah no she was amazing like also took a really great photo which is exactly what you want yeah. looked amazing in all of the clothes like oh. it was yeah great styling it was just yeah she was amazing um and then uh, i loved i actually styled eva longoria oh, for a wow. cover for fabulous and she was like the most down to earth she walked in with a massive box of pizza and then she was like oh i'm doing swimwear she was like i probably shouldn't have this and then she was like oh whatever oh, <laughs> and I, was like, I just <laughs> loved that um so she was really nice but honestly there's like so many people because obviously it's a weekly magazine so we were doing yeah. people week in week out um Alicia Dixon always had a really fun time on a shoot with her. I bet. So beautiful. Yes. She's just stunning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And again, can wear as well. anything yeah. and yeah. just looks amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I could go on. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this could be a separate podcast yeah. just you yeah. telling us all the fun Nana celeb stories. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh. so, um, yeah, and then, like you say, kind of been doing the show with you guys for a little while now, and, yeah, decided to join the team. Best decision of 2023, yeah, because it happened, actually, last year. As you say, I remember we were all told maybe, like, October time, yeah. and it's yeah, all, like, really exciting. Yeah, yeah, like, that's oh. it, I think, like, it all happened in, like, September, October, but obviously you've got to work your notice yeah, yeah. wherever you are, so I had a three-month notice period. 
And then I was like, oh, yeah, had Christmas off. And I was, was going to say, quite nice to start in January. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a really, like, ended there in December. Yeah. Started with you guys in January. It was just a really nice kind of wrapping up and yeah. starting something new. It feels like it's really good energy. Amazing. Also, just got to main- mention, everyone's calling your desk the new florist. Because <laughs> <laughs> this goes to show Literally, how be like, well <laughs> loved you are in the industry. Flowers for Nana. <laughs> champagne for Nana. <laughs> I know. I've had quite a few congratulations gifts so thank you to all the PRs love you (laughs) Um, uh, yeah so it does my desk does currently look like a florist also the thing is it's not even like that's not even all of them like I've taken a lot home or people are probably sending some to your home as well Um, so my house also looks like a florist your poor boyfriend come Valentine's gonna be like okay we're getting a flowers (laughs) yeah he's like we're done on the flower count now (laughs) I think that's a nice problem to have yeah exactly Uh, amazing well looking forward to getting to know you more over yeah. the coming few months but yeah so this is the team podcast you can pick it up as we go but yeah first of all we always talk about what we got up to at the weekend so yeah Georgina how about you um well staying with the theme of January not <laughs> a lot but um <laughs> definitely some tv watching obviously like the rest of the UK I am just head over heels in love with the traitors yeah oh my god just gets better and better just, every it week it really does like it always delivers every single episode yeah and i just love watching what claudia's wearing yeah and then um seeing how ruthless and horrible they all are to each other it's just brilliant so do clever. you think it's all genuine do you think there's any what well, like outside planted. coaching telling like what producers yeah. or anything i, kind of I think it's always word. brilliant editing for yes sure. apparently not like previous contestants are weighing in and they're saying like there isn't any okay. producer interference mm. but there's clearly like clever editing and maybe a few sort of tasks and things that might sort of sway people yeah. one way yeah. or the other but i don't think it's like celeb big brother okay. or whatever it used to be when they take them aside and be like right go and ruffle some feathers yeah yeah, so. yeah. But there was um, there was quite a funny little aside from Claudia. I know last what you're going to say. They <laughs> chose another man to be a traitor. Two men are traitors. Yeah. They've recruited another man, and she's like, "Oh, it's all men again, is it?" <laughs> and kind of really kind of called it out. Yeah, she's I like, "Oh, was... the olden days." Sure. Mm. Yes, yes, exactly. And I did think that was really funny, and oh. they kind of looked a bit awkward for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. um, I think that's what I'm loving because. Yeah. She is so good because obviously she has to present it almost as if it's live because she can't cock anything up or yeah. reveal yeah. anything or. Well, she's acting in it. Yeah, really. exactly. She's playing this amazing role. Yeah. And yeah. It is a character. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's especially when they had the funeral one last oh, week. Gosh, yeah. gosh, yeah, when she came with like she all was in like black. black. <laughs> I, I am now in this role, yeah. and, and then there's other ones where she's like leaping about and hugging them as well. So yeah, she, it's it's. Just flawless, her yeah. performance. I mean, yeah. I'm sure she should get a BAFTA or something for that. <laughs> yeah. She's brilliant. Yeah. And I watched a film, which I've been meaning to watch for ages, called Past Lives. <gasps> yes, we I've watched that been, too. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so I, I want to see it. Yeah, this yeah, is. yeah. I like, wanted to see it at the cinema, forgot, and yeah. So, so it's on streaming I now? I watched it, it on down. Amazon Prime. Okay, great where, to know. Um, I was really happy to see it. It's not one of these movies that cost about £18. It was actually like £3 to rent or something. And... It is a very gentle, thoughtful, philosophical, beautiful story about two friends who both live in South Korea and um, a boy and girl. And the girl, when she's 12, her family emigrate and they move to, well, first to Canada and then she moves to New York. And she loses contact with her childhood friend who she has a very deep connection with not a romance because they're young but they're deeply deeply connected and um then they kind of meet again but just on zoom so not in real life and they talk for a while and then after a certain amount of time she can see this isn't really going anywhere because they're not going to meet up and it's a bit confusing and I think she wants to embrace her life as a writer in New York and immerse herself but I think I think more that, that they there's clearly feelings there they're very connected but they're kind of She's in New York. She's there kind of running back to have a Zoom and connects on the computer. Yeah. She's like, it's going to be, what, a year, a year yeah. and a half till we can see each other. We need to stop this. Yeah. And we yeah. need to kind of live our lives. But I think also she's looking outward and forward yeah. and wants to do part of that is embracing the country she's yeah, in yeah, and yeah. connections there maybe. But she is, yeah, exactly. She's really drawn to him. But yeah. they sort of work out, it, it might be two years, maybe a year and a yeah. half. And yeah, so she kind yeah. of says let's stop this conversation and then she eventually falls in love and marries an American he then comes over to visit her 
when she's been married for about seven years, I think it is. Yeah. And the story is about um, their, their, they still have this really deep connection, but obviously she's married. Mm. And it's just so moving. I found it really moving. It's yeah. very quiet and it's really intense. And it, the all the scenes really kind of linger. There's so much space in the film, just mm. kind of... Mm her wandering or him walking or them walking together and there's no rush of dialogue. It's all really quiet and considered. And my husband thought it was really slow. Yeah. He found it really slow and said, yeah, you know, I think it's yeah. not yeah. for me. In the right mood yeah. To watch, whereas, to watch it. yeah. And I, I think really it just depends it. what kind of films you like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas it's got this like beautiful piano score that just keeps coming through again and again. Oh, yeah. But yeah. actually what's really fascinating is the film is quite um autobiographical so the mm. filmmaker is called Celine Song yeah. and she moved from South Korea to America when she was 12 and she married an American oh. she had a old Best friend friends. who came over and she oh, sat nice. in the bar between her husband and her old friend and she had to translate for both of them and that's that moment happens in the movie yeah. and that I was, was the basis say, I've the seen that movie. as a oh meme like when yeah. it's really awkward when where it's like yeah just the sort of husband who's sort yeah. of on this side almost getting pushed and away. the husband's lovely like he's really I yeah. think really patient about yeah. it yeah. Very, and he's very understanding and there's this one moment where he's like you know wouldn't it make an amazing story these kind of two like childhood sweethearts like rekindle after <laughs> 24 years whereas we just met at like a Writers, writers retreat, retreat mm -hmm. and yeah. got married for a green card. Yeah, like, oh, really. Oh. Although they do love each other. Yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. But he's like, got it, it's not like a great love story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and like there's this really lovely moment where um, she kind of leaves um, the guy that has come to visit her, her, her kind of old friend, and she goes and hugs her husband. And she cries and cries, and she's left him. And it's just a very mm. kind of mm. open and honest. I don't know, it really, it's really Yeah, it, it's a real reflection of their relationship yeah. and the strength of their marriage, that yeah. she can be that raw oh. and honest. Mm. But the actress who plays her is Greta Lee, who is Who's, known to many yeah. of us as Stella from The Morning Show, oh, who no. is so oh incredible in that. She's amazing. Her. She's like nailed in that. I love her. Oh, and yeah. she's so different in yeah. this. Well, and she's the film amazing is on the Korean. red carpet as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's why we've yeah. seen her in some pretty yeah. awesome outfits. Oh, yeah. But she, half the film is American. Mm. Actually, I would say about 70% Korean and six, yeah. and about 30% feels English. Yeah. So there's definitely more Korean yeah. Yeah. than English. Okay. Um, so she's talking Korean the whole way through. I think she's amazing. She's a really yeah, amazing. She's a really great actress. I you love just, her you in just the morning show. Watch yeah. her as yeah. well. She's yeah. just like really. She's kind of mesmerizing. Yeah, yeah, very. She's gorgeous. She, she is stunning. Gorgeous. Really she's gorgeous. so stunning. And it makes you reflect so about all those kind of times in your life at yeah. those moments. Yeah. Sliding doors. And I think yeah. travelling as well and like being in in a like a moment of time and, and I've got a friend who watched it who has travelled a lot and she said it took her kind of a week to recover from really? it because wow. oh. she kind of left her heart in so many countries that yeah. she then travelled to and it was quite triggering. Okay, well you convinced it. me. Yeah. yeah, I really want to we'll watch it. We'll press play this yeah. weekend. Definitely. <laughs> 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 Nana, what did you get up to this weekend? Um, again, very boring January. On Saturday, I stayed in for the whole day so with my heating <laughs> on because <laughs> I was like so cold I didn't want to go outside. But I was very productive. Um, I did a mini wardrobe cleanse. Oh, um, nice. Uh, have made a pile for charity, yeah. for vintage. Yeah. I feel like um, everyone's going to be like, where is now? Like a charity <laughs> shop. You can sell on the uh, Sherlock's community and the pre-love really? section. So oh maybe that's a, a good place. Yeah, who knows? Might end up some very colourful bits. Yeah. yeah. Up on there. Watch this space. Um, <laughs> when you cleanse, wait, yeah. what, what are you getting rid of? Yeah. So, what are your rules? Do you know what actually sparked this? It was you last week Thank you. when <laughs> you said the stat that said um, we only wear 30% yeah, of our wardrobe. our wardrobe. And I was just like, oh my God, that is so true. Yeah. And I was like, I need to just figure this out yeah. because I've moved into a new flat and I'm like, I'm just taking up unnecessary space yeah. because I just have my favorite things yeah. that I wear pretty much day in, day yeah. out on rotation. So for me, um, I just take out anything that I haven't worn for okay. a really long time. I try everything on. I take That's pictures. Good idea. And then I'm like, I'll go back through it and be yeah. like, does this look good? What am I going to style it with? How many different ways can I wear it? Yeah. 
But sometimes I instantly know. I'm like, oh, I've had my wear in this. Like, I'm yeah, yeah. It now. And is there a trend to what you what you then got rid of? Are you like, this is was all out of this shape or this like? For me, it's, it's usually like a lot of summer stuff. Okay. Like, I'm very much a spring summer girl. A lot of stuff I got rid of. Basically, I've probably worn for about six summers, and I'm like, okay. I'm really over it. Time, yeah, yeah. time's passed. It's, yeah, time's passed. Yeah. Like, it's been like repeatedly worn i've shown it love yeah. but i don't love it anymore mm -hmm. so it was a lot of summer stuff that i got rid okay. of that was just my bedroom though so i actually also have um a spare room which i've turned into a kind of open plan walk-in wardrobe why not <laughs> um i didn't get to that because then i was just like oh, i'm gonna make a nice dinner and also when know. you start something like that it can yeah. it goes oh, yeah. it's not like yeah. it's a it's a project yeah. it's not yeah. something that can just all be done in one day yeah. do you know what i mean so my bedroom i did and that was fine. I, was I like, think that's, that's still top notch effort. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. yesterday I went for a really nice roast dinner and did a uh, reformer Pilates oh, class. Nice. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's um, good. Where did you go for your roast? Uh, Shoreditch House. Nice. I caught up with some friends and that was pretty much my weekend. That sounds Done. Sounds decent. Yeah, yeah great. Lou? Um, I had quite a quiet one this weekend. Last weekend it was my birthday. Um, so on the Friday we went to the Bloom Museum oh, yeah. with um, my daughter, which I don't know if any of you have been. To I haven't yet. I've heard of. Um, but it's a kind of it, um, immersive um, like balloon exploration experience, yeah. and there's kind of maybe twelve or fifteen kind of different rooms, um, and it's quite abstract it's quite extra like my daughter yeah. was actually we've done a few of those kind of sensory room experiences um but she was quite scared of this Aww. one i don't know that there, there was they're like quite a big though aren't they're they? quite big like, there's I've one seen pictures yeah of, of yeah and now the rooms are some of the rooms quite dark yeah it's very dark and then there'll just be kind of sudden bright lights and then the music as well is oh, quite yeah. immersive so it, it's definitely interesting for adults as well. yeah. so they're not kind of a children's only thing and then yeah. towards the end there's a kind of which you might have seen on instagram a massive ball pit yeah. with yeah. then um, <laughs> balloons all on the ceiling and then there's like this amazing kind of light show in the middle yeah. which was incredible oh. and yeah we were well, me and my husband were blown away, but yeah, she was a bit scared. And then it was my birthday the day after, and Lewis was trying to blow up some balloons. Oh, and I think no. she had PTSD because <laughs> she was that. screaming so oh, much. Um, oh. But it was, I think, it, I think maybe from like two year olds upwards. Yeah, perfect. Oh, so I had funny stories. So one of my best friends, her little girl is like, well, she's not anymore, but she used to be scared of really big round objects, yeah. including my hair. Oh no! <laughs> so every time she saw me, she would just burst oh. out crying. Oh and my like god! Screaming. And I'm like, I have such a way with children, and this is like the first child that's yeah. like ever cried. And she seen me, and I was like, Oh my god! Oh, oh, like, no. What are we gonna do? And it, it took her about two years to grow out of it. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every that's time so she upsetting. saw me, I just used to have to like sit in a corner and wait for her to like, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Take her to the Blue Museum. No, oh. definitely not. Definitely not. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. Um, and then this weekend, so it's so my husband is training for the Paris Marathon. Oh wow! Ooh. When is um, that? It's in April. Okay. So he spends a lot of time out mm -hmm. running, mm -hmm. and that time needs to be shared. Yeah. So we've got a new deal where if he goes out for a long run. He can have like the morning and then I have the afternoon to myself. So I went um, shopping by myself. I saw actually on your stories. Yeah. I was loving yeah. it. And it was nice. so nice. Although I really felt like I was on borrowed time and I was <laughs> rushing so much. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, you're it's okay for you yeah, to have yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Baby's with your husband. Yeah. Like, it's all right. He's not going to tell you off. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I felt really guilty. Yeah. So, well, um, guilt. It just doesn't yeah. fade. And I was rushing. I was on the phone. I was like, it's okay. I'm like, I'll be really quick. I'm like, going to get the train as quick as I can. I was just like, chill yeah. out. Yeah. And enjoy. Nice. Um, so I went to the new Cho Tam store, which oh, nice. is so beautiful. Um, and I had a little wander around Marlborough High Street, which is I just love. such a good yeah. place yeah. for shopping. It's a really good high street. It's really got everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, agree. So yeah, I had a lovely little oh. afternoon, and then on Sunday it was our like, NCT first birthday party oh, with everyone, oh, um, which is very sweet. Oh, yeah. oh that sounds a perfect mix. Yeah, it was nice. Love that, Heather. What did you do this weekend? So again, uh, relatively chilled. My parents have gone on holiday for six weeks, so I've been how lovely. Yeah, I know. New Zealand. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, they just retired last year, so oh. it's like their big trip. Yeah. So they've gone on that, but they said years ago they were like. 
in 2024, we're going to drop our cats off <laughs> with you. I was like, okay. We were maybe going to get a dog a couple of years ago. And they're like, you can't because we're bringing the cats to yours in 2024. So I was like, okay. I was like, glad <laughs> I didn't so get the yeah. like, no, I'm glad Little I didn't get the family. dog. <laughs> I know. Trust you. Military dad. There we go. Um, <laughs> but no, so yeah, the cats arrived on Thursday night. They're not normal cats. They're this size. Oh my God. Wow. And uh, yeah, we've crazy. got a, a smallish flat, but they settled in quite nicely. What are their names? They're called Max and Monty. They're extremely oh. fluffy. They're shedding everywhere, but oh, they're not oh, shredding gosh. stuff yet. But okay. um, no, I had a great weekend. Make sure you have a lint them. roller to hand in your hand. I know, I was yeah. thinking that on the way out. Like, I need to start hiding, <laughs> hiding things because, yeah, everything's a bed, I've noticed. Yeah. Um, but no, my boyfriend was, he, I wouldn't say he's dreading it, but he's been a bit like, mm, the cats are coming. And I knew <laughs> that as soon as they were here, he'd be loving it. And yeah, he, they're like on his knee and he's like talking to them. <laughs> like, whenever oh, I see really him, he's enjoying. like with one of the cats. I'm like, I knew that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got another five and a half weeks of them, which, yeah watch this space we'll see how it goes at the moment I feel like by the time they get taken home I'll be really obsessed and want to keep yeah. one of them at least but won't be allowed but <laughs> no that was most of the weekend just settling them in also tried to go to the cinema yesterday and it was full oh. which is great um, like to see, see yeah well we wanted to see either poor things or the holdovers but yeah oh. both screenings we wanted to go to were full oh. which is great because you know, cinemas are struggling, so yeah. all good. But yeah, we just went for a walk instead and then watched New True Detective when we got in, which is like the There's other one. Jodie Foster? Yeah, Jodie Foster's in, the in it. One? Yeah. Yeah, is so it it's good? really, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I've only seen one episode, but I don't know if, have you guys seen any mm -hmm. of the other ones? I think I saw the first, I didn't see the second one. I saw yeah. the first one with... Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Yeah. So that came out, I think it was 10 years ago. And at the time, it was just like proper event TV. Mm. It was a real amazing mix between a sort of crime drama between these two men who were detectives and solving something. But they had a real sort of magic, yeah. not magic, but like a sort of supernatural element to it that just made it really, really haunting. Mm. And yeah, everyone absolutely loved it until the final episode where it was all just not very neatly wrapped up. But it was still excellent. I still recommend anyone watches it. But in series two, it had uh, Colin Farrell in and Rachel McAdams. And I can't remember who else, but everyone was so excited. Yeah. And it just did not hit the heights oh, that's at a good all. Cast. It was an amazing cast. And the third one, I didn't see that one because two wasn't great. It had like... Mahershala Ali in and other people and yeah like I just don't think that okay. is great How's but four is back and so far yeah really good this one's set in Alaska and Jodie Foster's playing a sort of hardened cop and uh, there's a sort of arctic research facility nearby and everyone who's been working there suddenly goes missing and there's a tongue found on the floor oh, oh my yeah. gosh <laughs> It is a crime drama. <laughs> uh, and then it's all about trying to solve what happened to everyone who was there. But then there's also elements of um, there are lots of indigenous peoples who are there and they've got their own sort of sort of missing persons that they're trying to locate. And it looks as though they might start interweaving at some stage. So, yeah, again, it's got a, a slight sort of supernatural element. Okay. But no, it's nothing to kind of like detract away from it. It's just yeah, that's a sort of element there. of yeah. oh, what's I going on. Also, watch at the weekend, um, Killers of the Flower Moon. So again, Ooh. not similar at all, but a vaguely yeah. similar yeah, premise. Yeah, exactly. That just reminded me. Um, what which did you think? Phenomenal. Like, Isn't it incredibly long? We watched yeah. the trailer, and then I think it's like three hours it's, thirty-five yeah, yeah, minutes yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Three hours twenty. It's a, it's a commitment. It yeah. is. Um, but yeah, I was staying on Saturday. Yeah, I didn't have anything else to do <laughs> I've like, done the wardrobe cleanse um but Leonardo DiCaprio I think is incapable of making a bad film he's just brilliant yeah. like yeah. his act honestly well the whole cast but honestly it's phenomenal yeah like everyone needs to watch it and I love a film where you're watching it and then at the end you're like I need to google this yeah, yeah, yeah. it's based on a true story and it, there's an amazing book about it yeah. as well yeah, which yeah. I think well, is that a... was I ended up on YouTube yeah. watching the author of yeah. the book on the natural history channel yeah. talking about how he discovered yeah. like the murders how he wrote the book everything so I Not watched the film all. and then watched maybe another hour on wow, YouTube that's, <laughs> that's amazing that's a lot of <laughs> yeah. yeah just goes to show I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it it was okay. really really good so 
so yeah, I think it'll probably do really well for like awards season. It's got yeah. to. Yeah. Um, have you seen anything else? Uh, so yeah, I also watched The Kitchen. Ooh, uh, that's on my list. Um, at the weekend, which is the new Daniel Kaluuya and Kano film, which is on Netflix. Um, really amazing. I just didn't think it was long enough. Oh. But it had like it's probably because I'd watch Kings. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was say so I no was one like, ever. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, it just like really ended. But no, it's a really, again, quite slow, but just a really nice story set in a dystopian kind of futuristic yeah. time. It's a bit Black Mirror esque, okay. um, and yeah, just about these guys that live. It's set in London, um, but in an area called the kitchen um, and just about kind of like police brutality and a story about a father kind of meeting his long lost son that he didn't know about. Like, I don't want to give too much yeah, away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really amazing acting, really great soundtrack. Oh, I bet. Um, I think Labyrinth, mm. who did the music for Euphoria. Oh, of course. Did the soundtrack for this as well. And there's a song at the end, which he always does this. He puts a song out and I'm like, I need to, I was trying to like Shazam it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it wasn't working. I was like, I need you to release that song. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah. Immediately. It's really great. Did anyone watch Graham Norton? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, oh my God. Um, so Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott were on it. Um, talking about their new film, All of Us Are Strangers. Yes, called? All of Us um, Strangers. All of Us Strangers, um, which is out on Friday. Their chemistry oh, off is the charts. next yes. level. Yeah, I oh love it. Oh my God. And then I went down a TikTok home and was watching all these videos with them. And I am... They're like at the RVT, like clubbing. Oh, I love it. so obsessed. <laughs> and like, I don't know, they just, like all these little like interviews they were doing for like BuzzFeed and Variety. And yeah. like, oh my God, they're just... I'm so excited to watch that. Yeah, film. yeah. me too. It looks, it looks amazing. amazing. I am quite obsessed with Andrew Scott. Yeah. I saw him in a Noel Coward play about, oh, it was probably about three years ago. It was so incredible. He was the lead. I can't remember what it was called, but he was the lead and there was a supporting cast and it was really, really funny. And he just put on this performance and I would think we were in something like the eighth or ninth race. You could see the whites of his mm. eyes. Yeah. And I was just like, I mean, I already loved him in Fleabag, but that was my... That's what sort of switched me on to him. Yeah. And it was just, he was amazing yeah. on the stage. He was amazing. And then he was talking about some of his anecdotes yeah. about being in Hamlet and the yeah. gun <laughs> killing like <laughs> yeah, Hamlet's mother instead of whoever it's yeah. meant to be. <laughs> and just everything he said, I'm just like hanging on yeah, every word. word. You, he is like number one dinner party guest. Yeah. Like yeah. You want him. Yeah. I just want when him When is the life. film released? Did they Friday. say Alfred yeah. this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it looks yeah. like a really beautiful, yeah. and I think quite yeah. slow yeah. Yeah. Um, story, story, just the way that he yeah. was describing it as well. But I also think, you know, he's talking about, like, coming out. And, yeah. And, but yeah, I'm absolutely, I just can't wait to, can't wait to see that. Yeah. It's, they're amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we're moving on to the part of the uh, podcast where we talk about any interesting features we've seen recently. Nana, you had one about solo travel. Yeah, I... Well, it came up. I also went on a solo trip. I was going to ask, at New Year? Yeah, at New Year, just before I started here. Um, just because my partner wasn't available to go away. None of my friends were. And I've only been on one other one, and I had such a good time. I was rogue. And I that see. was where my first solo travel ah. trip was. Well, it's think, interesting, because yeah. my sister, who, yeah. who is single, she had gone she went to Rhodes last year yeah um last summer on her own just booked a hotel again and she was like none of my friends are either all going away with kids yeah or you know they're just not available to travel when I want to yeah, travel she wanted it. like early summer sun yeah. and she went off I think for like 10 days yeah. and then in December she's just come back from going to um, Sri Lanka yeah. for like two weeks. Oh, nice. It's really, once you do it once, yeah. like she that's it's it, just great. you yeah. will be hooked. Like I, I, my first solo trip as well was actually not even meant to be a solo trip. I was meant to be going on holiday with my mum, yeah. but to this really nice hotel, we had our own like private pool. And then probably like a week before, she was like, oh, my passport's out of date. Oh, oh no. no. Cool. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's, it's only four days. I was yeah. like, what's the worst yeah. that can happen? And I absolutely loved it. And Rhodes is a really good entry level, I'd say. I was say, what, yeah. 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 Um, so you feel really safe. I think that's like number one yeah. when you are obviously a female on your mm -hmm, own. Like mm -hmm. We have to think about these things. Um, 
really obviously like nice beaches, good food. Yeah. Like there's a lot to do. Or you could just stay in your hotel and still have a really nice time. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that was what was great. I booked an excursion, went on a boat trip one day. So there's like enough sightseeing, yeah. things to keep you entertained yeah. if you do if you wanna leave the hotel and not just sit by the pool and like yeah. read a book. Did you make um, friends? Yeah, I made, I went, the boat trip that I went on, I made friends with another girl who was also solo traveling. Yeah. Um, so we went out for dinner together. Oh, that's nice. nice. I, love that. That yeah. I was just going to ask so. you whether, like, in the evenings, would you then just have room service or would no, you be like, oh, I'm going no, down. No, I'd literally, like, dress up and go yeah. down and, like, have dinner on my own, mm-hmm. which, again, that's another question I always get asked is, like, oh, how do you have dinner on your own? Yeah. Like, oh, do you I don't mind that own? at all. I enjoy um, it. Yeah, I, but I think a lot of people find yeah. it really intimidating yeah, and like quite daunting and did you feel different from when like the beginning of the trip to the end yeah yourself? completely because i think it wasn't like i said it was a solo holiday yeah. kind of like by mistake and i hadn't i'd always wanted to do one yeah. but this kind of just like forced my hand mm-hmm. and i realized like oh my gosh i can get up whenever i want yeah. mm-hmm. like i can do all of these things like it's quite enlightening to yeah. be like I love my own company. Yeah. You're embracing yeah. everything that you want to do on yeah. your time. Get up whenever you want. You're like completely yeah. capable as well. It's like I think we're conditioned to think that like we always have to have like someone there mm-hmm. or like someone with us. The most recent one when I went to St. Lucia, again, made friends and they were American mm-hmm. and they were like blown away that I was on my own. They were really? like, yeah, they were like, no American women would ever go away. They either go away with their partner or their girlfriends. Yeah. Like, mm. that's it. Wow. Um, and I was like, there was another British girl there yeah. who, she was like, who was like, is this like a British thing? <laughs> 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 and I was like, no, like I just, well, maybe. But um, I was like, it's just a really great thing. So like, yeah. I think everyone should do it at least like once in their life. So have you got one or two tips if anyone's, you've intrigued anyone and they want to kind of um, give it a go? Uh, my first tip would be obviously just like research the place. Mm-hmm. Like for me, number one is safety. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I always say, like be in a nice hotel that if you want to do anything else, like you want to leave the hotel, would you have enough to do there? Yeah. Is there a beach? Is mm-hmm, there a pool? Mm-hmm. Like, would you treat yourself and have a pool in your room? <laughs> like yeah. you wouldn't even have to leave your room. So I think the number one thing is definitely, yeah, like pick a great like hotel spot. Um, and then number two, um, make sure everyone knows where you are. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you give your itinerary, your like, phone number the phone number of the hotel like whatever it is um just because i think yeah safety is probably the number one like key aspect yeah. for mm-hmm. it such good advice thanks yeah. Lana. i just wanted to talk about the mob wife trend that's <laughs> emerged this year i also feel like your jacket yeah. now is kind of this is very, very conveniently yeah. uh working. In, mob wife. Yeah. 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 Working my... <laughs> in case anybody isn't familiar with it i'm just reading this from uh the lovely chloe mcdonald wrote about this on uh the guardian over the weekend but it's leopard layers and a load of gold say hello to the mob wife trend talking about you know how last year it's all sort of like the tomato girls trend and various other ones but this one is about massive fur coats glossy leather clashing animal prints coiffed hair and stacks of gold jewelry and she's kind of talking about perhaps some of it's leaning into the fact that it's the Sopranos 25th anniversary this year or I don't know maybe it's just because everyone's cold and wants a nice furry jacket I honestly just think everyone's cold (laughs) it's a really great name don't get me wrong and like I love that people are kind of leaning into it but we're all freezing yeah Yeah. (laughs) it's minus temperatures um so everyone's like just wear everything in your yeah. wardrobe. Yeah. Exactly. Basically, so. wear a cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I love it. Obviously, it's stuff that I have in my wardrobe a lot. As already. I say, I can see underneath you've got the gold yeah, jewelry. Yeah, I've got gold jewelry already. There's and the the leather as well with yeah. the boots. Yeah. Um, How many faux fur coats have you got? Oh gosh. Uh, probably ten to twelve. Oh wow. wow. No wonder you need that spare room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also have a basement. Don't get well. me started on that. We need yeah, a wardrobe yeah. tour. Yeah, oh. no. We do, once it's like all 
I've like done the cleanse okay. and it's also, yeah, I definitely so don't want to do that. So Heather, what part of the mob wife trend are you leaning into? I have actually got a couple of faux fur jackets yeah. from yeah. back in the day that I can't throw away because I just love them. So I feel I could lean into that. I don't really wear any jewellery, so I feel I can't really lean into that. But I do like, do no, I always forget. I've got these no. earrings in just so I can't take them out. But other than that, I just forget to put it on. Yeah. yeah, I've got some nice pieces, but I'm just... I don't know if it's laziness. I don't know what it is. I just don't think about it. Yeah. Sometimes you just get out of the habit. Yeah, of it, yeah. Don't you? exactly. I've just even just realised I meant to put an earring in this ear this morning. <laughs> and I haven't done it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I don't think in that way. I have got some leopard print. I think was it Catelyn Moran who said leopard print is a neutral. So it I've is got, neutral. Yeah, I've got a few pieces of those. But yeah, I, basically, I kind of want to lean into it because I am obsessed with the Sopranos and I'm quite excited about all the content and think pieces to come out this yeah. year because mm. I've, I've not watched that that's why I, yeah, I haven't watch. either oh, it's the best show I have ever seen and I've seen and loads. everybody says that it's yeah. so good and it's like multi-award winning yeah. 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 and it so, hasn't aged like yeah. I only watched it in lockdown okay. and like it's it perfect. still is good it's perfect so yeah if you really want to binge a hell of a lot of telly I would recommend and I watched The Wire. That was my lockdown. Exactly. That, like, yeah. Started because everyone went yeah, on about yeah, how yeah. amazing that was. Um. So yeah, Sopranos is definitely <laughs> Sopranos is what also my best friend watched while she was in um giving birth. In oh. Hollywood, but randomly, she's what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but she was watching. As it. in like like the beginning <laughs> stages of labour or right at the end. <laughs> to be honest, it's wow. very oh, distracting. Right. I'm sure. <laughs> It'd very much be like, it could be worse right now. It could be yeah. that guy. Yeah, no, she's, she's, Did uh, you name the baby off any character? Yeah. Carmella. No, yeah, Carmella, no, she hasn't actually. But yeah, she, she enjoyed it. I know that much. Love that. Um, Lou, Georgina, would either of you lean into the trend? I actually have, um, I've had them for years, probably about eight or nine years, a pair of uh, leopard print kitten heel, nice. like slip-on court shoes. And do you know what? I have to say, they're a real, like, go-to. Whenever I think, oh, I'm just, like, wearing, I don't know, some grey, black grey jeans and a neutral blouse or something, going out for dinner or something, like, low-key. And I'll be like, just need something to kind of add a bit of interest. Mm. And then I put those shoes on. I'm like, yep, done. Done. Mm. Lou? <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got some kind of old, like, faux fur vintage coats. Um, it can also nice. be quite nice track suits as well. Yes, I that's saw what the mob that. wife yeah. Yeah. women enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Off duty mob wife. Yeah. <laughs> and there's, yeah, there's kind of chunky <laughs> chains and like yeah. a, a thin uh, sunglass. Yeah. Like, like yeah. a big old with like some kind of gold detail. Oh, yeah. On the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, fabulous. Fabulous. Well, I look forward to seeing what the new thing is after this. There's always something on TikTok, isn't yeah, there? But this no, one I'm is. fully on board with. <laughs> and well, and like traitor. I don't know if we call it like traitor core or yeah, like, yeah, or yeah. Don't, like, core, like I've wanted a kilt for ages Highland, and now I'm like, like Claudia, no, everyone's yeah. gonna be wearing kilts. <laughs> you know, I have um I used to do you remember Luella? Um yeah. the British brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I worked with them for a while and I had a orange and black check kind of triangle scarf with a frill around the outside oh. and I was back home at Christmas and I was speaking to my mum about it and I was like I can't believe I got rid of that scarf she's like no no darling it's under the bed and I was like <gasps> oh my god the best. No so way. I've got it and it's so it's like so amazing and I feel like it's really I need to see this yeah. so I, I'll bring it in this week I brought it back home with me um and it's so good and oh. I had like a a tweed long line blazer with a little puff sleeve, nice. which I stupidly sold. Oh, and yeah, just pieces yeah, like that, yeah. you know, and never, like they're always going to come back. And kind of it's when you talk about like a yeah, yeah. Pen, sometimes yeah. there are pieces you're like, okay, it's I haven't worn it for six months. Yeah, however. But mm, it will come back. Yeah. And this like is like a key item. Yeah. Well, and especially um, with a daughter, because there's so many times where my daughter says things to me like, can't believe you threw that <laughs> away. Oh. Or she then goes to her grandmothers, yeah, and who both quite partial to a designer purchase yeah. in their day, and she's like, "Why don't you have any of that? What did you yeah. do? Yeah. What is it? I can see that you're wearing it in that photo, <laughs> and it's like yeah. so, so cool, like Afghan coat or something yeah. in the seventies, and so they're like, silly. "Oh well, you know." Just got rid of it. Didn't think it would come back in. Yeah. So she's now yeah. like, don't get rid of it. Oh my anything. God. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I was interning um, in New York, um, when I was much younger, uh, Candice Lake, the um, fashion photographer, like shot me street style. And I remember being so excited. It was for Vogue. And I was like, Aww. mom, I've been like street style for Vogue. And I was wearing um, that Luella blazer, the scarf, some leather trousers, a Stella McCartney TK Maxx 
a red nose day t-shirt. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember the guys, yeah. And I felt so. It sounds <laughs> cool, though, like, to be honest. This is a look. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, you know, that's the type of thing I think you like. You, you tell your children about. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Well, it's got history. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Or well, good yeah. old mum for not checking out the scarf. I know. Yeah, I know, oh, I know. Yes. I'll bring it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's very useful. I was going to say, I, I just kind of want to look at it for yeah. personal yeah. reasons. <laughs> okay, let's so quickly great. go through some questions. So this one uh, was sent in to podcast at sheerlux.com um how to look stylish in cold weather i feel like we have kind of covered this yeah. but apart from mobster furry coats and things has anybody else got any tips ideas we'll start off with thermals underneath yeah, yeah. Like, say thermals. that is like key because then you can pretty much just wear anything else on top True. and still look stylish whether that's a dress or wide leg trousers yeah. jeans um an oversized jumper um, so go with the base layer and then everything else will look fantastic on top. So yeah. like we did a really good base layer feature yeah. last week on Sheer Lux, yeah. so have a look. And there's there. a lot of those kind of like high neck ones as yeah. well, which I also think look really chic with like um, a shirt and you can still wear mm -hmm. like your jewellery mm -hmm. or you yeah. know, whatever at the top. So it's, it, yeah, you can look chic. Amazing. Yeah. And when it's been really cold, I've been wearing my um, pairs of Scotland alpaca Bed socks Ooh, yeah. nice. under my boots because I yeah. get really cold feet. And oh, that's a good point. Socks, but I can, warm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good tip. Yeah. And then on the Sheerlets community, finally, somebody is saying, I'm kind of asking this because I want to know as well for my own selfish reasons. But with winter now upon us, my skin is having some trouble holding on to hydration, especially when it comes to creating a long lasting base for makeup. By the end of the day, my makeup looks patchy because my skin hasn't held on to any hydration. It just looks flat. Have any of you got any suggestions for what to add to skincare or just basically what to do with your skin at this time of year? Because yeah. I'm kind of having a similar thing where it can look glowy in the morning and then it just goes super dry and yeah. flat. And it's, I think just like that hydration level is so key. Um, I really struggle with that. And I feel like like pre-Christmas, I really like looked at my, my winter skincare and was like, right, mm. what do I need? Mm -hmm. And I think having a really good mask yeah. um, really helps. I got the Sarah Chapman Digital Rest Night Cream Ooh. recently yeah. and it is incredible. Ooh. It's so thick but not like cakey thick mm -hmm. it's kind of watery thick and like almost a bit more of like a gel texture um i put it on before going to bed and i literally just woke up and i just felt like oh my god my skin oh, is head you, like you have got great skin so <laughs> <I know. laughs> um and the biosans um hyaluronic mist as well like that's a really good just like, like a daily mist yeah, yeah which i like if you're saying that kind of throughout the day mm. your skin gets dry then i think just having that little top up just a little oh, spritz nice. every day. I'll and look into that. And would you spritz middle. that over your makeup yeah, and exactly. it just kind of sits there? Yeah, I feel like, in. and it just gives you that little glow. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, um, Vive, their primer, I guess I call it, I think the glow primer, maybe, um, that under your skincare as well makes such a difference. Okay. Um, I recently tried that pre-Christmas day again and I feel like that's made a real difference to making your makeup last and give you that amazing we'll add all these in the notes below uh nana any tips yeah oh i am like skincare for me i it would be primer that yeah. would be like mm. my number one i use the fenty primer because it's like mattifying yeah because i feel like i get kind of like really oily later on in the day um and then uh, for creams i use uh ren skincare oh yeah i like just that. because it's really like gives me a glow and it's really kind of like soothing as well. So oh, fabulous. Great. Georgina, any tips from you? Um, I just switched in a uh, night face oil, which is also Ren, actually. Mm. Um, I was just chatting with Satna on the desk <laughs> last week going, oh, my skin is so dry. She goes, oh, I've just started using a face oil. So I was like, I think I've got one of those. Yeah, yeah. I'll dust that one off. <laughs> yeah. um, and I used it that night, and I woke up in the morning, and I was like, oh, my God, that worked. Like, that wasn't hard. No, it <laughs> um, is So they're so good, and it's really rich. And when you yeah. put it on, the smell, and then I just rub it into like my cuticles. Yeah, I like as well. that. And I, yeah, you know, I do actually quite like an oil. And yeah. my, it was what was scary was my skin literally just kind of like it's, yeah, yeah, sucked <laughs> it all up. And yeah. I was like, yeah. double layer, yeah. <laughs> here we come. Oh, and now yeah. I can't stop using it. And yeah. I feel like it gives you also. It's probably not great for holding foundation, admittedly. Like, yeah, I use it in the morning. But see, I do in the morning. So Maybe nice. that's half the problem. Maybe yeah. I should be yeah. putting it at know. night. Yeah, I don't. I don't know whether 
the oil makes it slide off or whether it makes it kind of glues it on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I find that when I use an oil at night, then normally they're like an orangey colour or yellow, the oils, and then it transfers onto my pillow. Ooh, I don't know no. if anyone else has that no. I guess gotcha. unless you put it on earlier in the evening. Mm. So maybe. it kind of yeah. 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 yeah, and then moisturise on top. And then yeah. moisturise on top, yeah. Or just sleep like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula style. <Yeah. laughs> when, I was, uh, when I was pregnant, you're not meant to sleep on, on your, your back. back. Yeah. Yeah. And you oh. have to sleep on your side. And I remember so many times I'd wake up on my back and be like... <gasps> Yeah. Oh. Rolling, rolling. Yeah. The, oh. the problem with that though is you spend so much time like I must sleep on my right side yeah. or whichever side it is, left. and then mm. left side, mm. and then you can't reverse it. So yeah. I always you sleep on one sleep. side, yeah. and I'm like, all the skincare on that side. Is actually, <laughs> well, this side's looking fine. Yeah. 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 Um, and I just want to sleep creases. on my back, and I can't. Yeah. Why have I got more crow's feet on yeah. that eye than that eye? It's so annoying. <laughs> Uh, amazing I think that's all we've got time for thanks Nana that was fun thank you first so podcast down I <laughs> can't wait to come back on again amazing um, and thanks everyone for watching and listening if you've got any questions please do email us at podcast at Shilux. we love hearing from you and don't forget to rate review subscribe to your friends and we'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>